Hey my friend, this is Carolina Millan and welcome to this brand new video that I'm recording for you right here on the beautiful Easter Island. And in today's video, by the way, there are some people behind me uh, making some noise, I'm sorry about that, but it's part of the laptop lifestyle, it's part of shooting videos and I just love it. Anyway, in today's video, you're going to learn three tips to have a millionaire mindset. So these are three millionaire mindset actions for you to have more wealth and attract more wealth into your life by adjusting your mind just like the rich people do so stick around and watch the video all right welcome back and glad you stayed for this video so millionaire mindset action number one is for you to love and admire rich people. You need to love and admire rich people. And let me tell you why I'm, I'm saying this. Many, many people, maybe that's you, right? Or maybe that was you at some point, tend to resent people who have what they want. They tend to resent them. I don't like that person because they have a lot of money and I'm never gonna have enough money. I'm never gonna have enough money. And if you keep telling yourself these stories where, you know, you resent them because you're jealous or because they have money and you don't. Um, I think there's a bug on my lens. I hope it's going to go away. <laughs> if you resent people, all right, just because they have money, then guess what? You cannot become something you hate or something you resent. It's just how it is. If you resent rich people or successful people, you're never going to be rich and successful. It's it just how it works. You cannot be something you despise. You cannot become something you hate. So you need to love and admire rich people. Even if deep down, maybe you don't share the same core values as they have, or you know, there's something that bothers you about them, don't, don't send them negative emotions. Just send them love, send them admiration move on or find really uh, rich people that you feel like you can admire for example i really admired people like richard branson i really admire tony robbins robert kiyosaki these are rich rich people uh, that i really really admire and look up to and then there are rich people that i know personally some of my really good friends that i've met at live events and businesses and they're much more successful than i am and i don't i'm not jealous of them on the contrary i look up to them i want to be like them I want to reach their level at my own pace, at my own style, right? And that's the way you need to look at it, okay? And remember this other thing, success is in your mind. Success is how you define it. So don't let anybody else tell you that you're successful or not successful according to their standards. You need to follow your own standards for success, okay? Now tip number two, you need to associate with rich and successful people, right? First, you can admire them, doesn't matter if you've met them or not, but at some point you need to be rubbing shoulders with them, if you know what I mean. And how do you do that? You attend live seminars, live workshops, live events. That's when you meet successful people. Successful people, most of them, go to seminars and events. Okay, so no matter what industry you're in, I'm sure, I'm sure there are networking events going on in the industry. I'm sure there are live seminars and workshops that you could be attending and masterminds, okay? High level masterminds. And then of course, learn from these people, associate to them and find out how you can get coaching from them. You know, if, it, if it's a little hard for you to afford, you now find out if they have books or products, follow that first and then go ahead and get their coaching. It's absolutely necessary for you to fast track your road to success. And that's something that I, that I have been doing over the years. For me to achieve my level of success, it was necessary to learn from these people, to go to live events, to go to workshops, to invest in myself, all right? So tip number three for a millionaire mindset, you need to learn how to manage your money. That's right, my friend. No matter if you have $1, $100, $1, dollars, if you don't know how to manage your money, you lose it. I mean, look at all the people that won the lottery, right? Most people that win the lottery go back to where they were in about five years or so. Why? Because they have no idea what to do with all that money and they just spend it, spend it, spend it. There's no new money coming in because they weren't wise enough to invest part of it or manage it properly. 
that they just go back to their original state. So that's it really that's what happens, my friends. So you need to learn to manage your money, even if even if it's just one dollar. Now, how can you learn some money management tips? Well, I want to recommend to you a book that really inspired me to make this video, and that book is Secrets of the Millionaire Mind by T. Harv Eker. There's going to be a link below this video for you to check out that book and order a copy. That book has really changed so much for me, really changed the whole game. And you have a blueprint in your brain, in your mind, that probably isn't your blueprint, but was uh, created by the way you were brought up. You know, maybe it's your father's blueprint about money or your mom's blueprint about money. You need to change that, you need to adjust it and come up with a new blueprint, okay? So my friend, go ahead and check out the book. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment below. Tell me how you're going to implement this free millionaire mind actions. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you're watching this on YouTube, there's going to be a button on this video for you to subscribe. And of course, feel free to share this post, share this video with people that you feel are going to get value from it. Well, this is Carolina Millan, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye-bye.